First of all, David named AP Honorable Mention All-American yesterday. You know, among all these awards that you've gotten, what does this one, you know, find out about this one, it'd be 
among some of the select players in the country mean to you? Yeah, it's a, it's really special. It's it's just a great honor, and it just goes to show you again that hard work pays off, and it, it uh, tells me that that I'm doing something right, and just kind of motivates me to continue to feel me and try and get me where I want to go. If I just continue to keep working hard, and hopefully I can get there. Speaking of working hard, I've been out here the past couple of days watching your workouts to get ready for the Portsmouth Invitational. Just talk about these workouts and kind of what's your goal, what you're trying to accomplish, you know, with these workouts that you're doing out here to, to kind of get ready. Yeah, these, these workouts have been have been a lot of fun and, and really challenging and really tough. But I think I think that just goes to show you what the next level is going to be. And and the, the object that I'm trying to trying to do here is just to keep continue getting in shape and just to get ready to play uh, down in Portsmouth. And I've been just working on a lot of different moves from the NBA three point line because even though it's only three feet, it, it changes the whole game. And uh, so just working on my moves from there. And then once I get tired, we've been working on on the NBA three when I get tired to try and hit shots when I'm tired. So it, it's been it's been really challenging. It's it's been it's been a great experience so far. You know, you mentioned the three, NBA three point line. We've got it taped down on the floor here, you know, so you know where it's at and to work on it. But you know, besides the three feet, what you know, what is the difference even in your own shot to make up for that distance to step so much further back? I mean, the the old college line to the new college line, they're still kind of close. But you look out here, there's so much more distance to the NBA line. You know, what kind of changes? Just what the difference is in your shot to make that NBA three pointer. I think the biggest difference that I've been noticing is getting your legs more into your shot. I think before in uh, in high school and in college, you you could kind of uh, compensate when you're tired by not getting your legs into it and just using your arms more. But I think uh, now that it's three feet farther back, you got to use your legs every time. And if you don't, it's going to be short or it's going to be flat. So it's just really understanding that you got to get the ball there and you got to get it up in the air to give it a chance to go in. Seeing you also a lot out here, kind of work on more. You know, your one-on-one moves. Obviously, you had those before. What are some other things? I mean, have you watched more, even on YouTube or NBA games, to see what NBA players do as opposed to college players? Are you starting to do more of that as well? Yeah, no doubt about it. I think a big thing in the NBA is there's only a 24 second shot clock. So it seems like every time when they get the ball, um, they, they got to kind of get shoot check shots and they got to make one on one moves because they don't have enough time to run a set play. So there's a lot of time when, when uh, guys like Kobe and, and Dwayne Wade, then they get the ball with like eight seconds to go. You got to make a one on one move and you got to create space somehow and you got to shoot over bigger guys. So I've been coming out here and just trying to work on tough shots and some circus shots and just crazy shots that might happen um, dur- during a shot clock situation. We'll change real quick. Last thing, I'm sure you know, you're a basketball junkie like the rest of us. You've been watching the NCAA tournament. What do you think of the? Uh, what are your thoughts on this Final Four coming up? Um, I think it's going to be really exciting. I think it's really interesting. Uh, four teams that uh, not a lot of people probably thought were going to get there besides Duke. And me personally, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with Duke, Michigan State in the finals and then pick Duke because uh, I, I really like the way they play. And Coach K does a great job. And they just got three guys that are really tough to stop. And with the big fella down underneath, they really got it going. So I like Duke. Dave, thanks for the time, and we'll uh, catch up with you again before you go down to Portsmouth.